Mankind has always been an inventive and tenacious species. Representations of its ingenuity have spread across the planet, from ancient wonders such as Stonehenge and the pyramids to modern marvels like the skyscrapers that occupy major cities. Our progress as a species is vast and ambitious, but it's also demanding and often troublesome. With our leap into the industrial age in the 18th century, our need for resources increased at a surprising pace, and when electricity became a necessity to thrive in the modern world, we turned to coal to meet our demands. At first, coal-generated electricity was a commodity to admire. It helped bring about the greatest leaps in technology known to us as a species, and its use has helped bring longer, healthier, and happier lives to people that are fortunate enough to live with it. But coal has another side that has only recently gathered much attention. When fossil fuels are burned, pollutants are released into the air, causing harm to people and the environment. Greenhouse gases, a major component of these pollutants, are defined by the EPA as gases that trap heat in the atmosphere and are believed to be a major contributor in the theory of global climate change. Carbon dioxide makes up the majority of these greenhouse gas emissions, followed by methane, nitrous oxide, and fluorinated gases. The process of coal combustion mainly releases carbon dioxide, but the mining and processing operations also contribute methane and nitrous oxide to the mix. Beyond the greenhouse gases, fossil fuels release sulfur dioxide when they're burned, contributing to acid rain that damages crops and acidic particles that can be harmful if inhaled. Mercury, another product of coal burning, is a toxic heavy metal that can cause brain damage and heart problems. And to top it all off, the solid waste that doesn't make it into the air can be radioactive, containing trace amounts of uranium and thorium. If ignored, these radionuclides can concentrate and leach their way into the soil. So with all of these issues, why do we still plan on using coal? To put it briefly, we don't. A number of alternatives are competing right now to take the place of coal at the top of the electrical world. Natural gas, a fossil fuel much like coal, is leading the way in taking over and replacing coal plants, but it possesses some of the same pollution issues that coal has. Renewables, such as wind and solar energy, are fuelless power sources that could revolutionize the way we generate electricity, but currently, they aren't entirely dependable to provide enough power 24 hours a day all year long. The final resort, then, is nuclear power. But what do people think about nuclear power? Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I don't know, nuclear is kind of scary because, you know, it's, there's all that radioactivity, but I think uh, coal and natural gas, I mean, even if they pollute a little bit, it's, it's not as bad as the, the, radio, the radiation that the nuclear plant puts out. So I figure that a lot more people die from, from the radioactivity than from the pollution, and I, I think that um, the environment can just kind of you know, soak up the pollution a little bit better than it can the radioactivity. So, uh, I don't see why we need to use nuclear power if uh, coal and natural gas are just as good, or better, because they're cleaner. I, mean, I, mean, I think so. It just so happens that nuclear power has actually saved lives from fossil fuel plants and their emissions. According to a recent study conducted by NASA scientists, nuclear power is accountable for up to 1.8 million lives saved, even when taking into account the major accidents involving radiation exposure. The study goes on to say that at least hundreds of thousands more lives will be saved by currently proposed nuclear power plants over the next 40 years, and much more than that if catastrophic climate change is prevented by the use of clean nuclear power. Regardless, in order to meet a goal of 350 parts per million carbon dioxide molecules in the air by 2050, nuclear power is necessary over coal and even in natural gas. But where does that leave renewables? I don't know a lot about nuclear energy, but I think solar or wind energy is more green. Because if you see a picture of nuclear power plant, you will see smoke comes from there, and solar or wind energy never produce smoke. And uh, I think not only me, but also in public, when talking about green energy, wind or solar energy will first come to people's head. So I think wind or, uh, wind or solar energy is a better future energy solution. Overall, nuclear energy is the best future energy solution for now. No matter how green the coal or gas industry states themselves, let's not forget that the main composition of the fossil fuel is carbon. The carbon dioxide produced from the use of fossil fuel cannot be prevented no matter how advanced the technology is. Unlike wind or solar energy, its high power density means it can produce enough electricity without using a lot of space. Another advantage is that nuclear energy is more practical than all other green energy solutions. Well, solar, wind, or hydropower is highly dependent on locations. A lot of people have 
been misunderstanding nuclear energy because they think it is not reliable enough. However, more than 435 nuclear reactors are operating now and during the past 50 years, nuclear power reactors itself rarely have any accident that influences the public. All the famous nuclear power reactor accident was due to human error or unprecedented natural disasters. For example, the Three Mile Island accident is caused by mistake operation and the Fukushima accident is caused by the fourth largest earthquake in human history. After those accidents, safety training of the reactor operators has been much improved, so the reactor operator have a much better understanding of the reactor now. Newer design nuclear reactors will have addendum safety features so that even the electricity is completely lost, the reactor can still safely shut itself down. With the third and the fourth generation reactor designs, safety of the future re reactors will be even more secure and since the fuel cycle has been improved on those reactors, Nuclear waste will be reduced at the same time. With the current data of global warming and the increasing demand of energy, if the fossil fuel still contributes more than 70% of the energy in the future, disasters can be only so in friction movies will come true. After Fukushima accident, some countries decide to switch back to fossil energy because of public panic. We think those decisions are lack of vision and will be proved in the future a big mistake. Even though nuclear energy is not perfect, it is, at least for now, the best way to meet our increasing energy demand and reduce carbon emission at the same time.